I know I've been, I've done two videos on this top for four, but I've just remembered something else I wanted to say. All these people getting divine revelations from God, either a near death experience or a vision or a word from beyond. Give me a freaking break, please. If you're really from God, all of you are really from God. Why are not? Why are they not like pieces of the puzzle? The more you see the of these and hear from these divine revelations and near death experiences, if they were from God, the more you see of them, the more glimpse of the bigger picture you should be getting. But this is not happening. They contradict one another. They have different... Heaven for one looks this way. Heaven for another looks that way. And one scene, uh, one revelation, if you don't tithe to go to hell, and another, that's not so. So here's what I, here's what I propose. From now on, any divine revelation from God in in the day of Pentecost, when God, in the day of Jesus, miracles and signs followed the word of God, and why did they do, why did they to set this religion apart from all the other garbage bin religions and sects? God sanctifying his own name. This is this is from God. I'm showing you this. I'm confirming it by signs and wonders. Now there, according to the Bible, there are going to be two outpourings of the Spirit. The one at Pentecost, the former of the latter rain, and the uh, one at the last days. What you're seeing now is not the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. What you're seeing now is of the devil. At worst, at best, is uh, men's own imaginations playing tricks on them. Keep in mind, at the turn of the millennia, right before the year 1000, people were having religious, religious ecstasies and manias. And predicted the end of the world, which didn't come in the year 1000. So if we're going to have an, another, the second outpouring of the Spirit right before the end of the days, if, if it's not followed by signs and wonders, it is of the devil. And I'm not talking about flamboyant signs and wonders. You know, when the Antichrist comes, he's going to have have man call, he's going to call down fire from heaven in front of everybody. That's not the type, type of signs and wonders you get from God. Here's, here's an example of a sign of one you get from God. Look at me. I cannot walk without extreme discomfort. I cannot sleep at night without trazodone. I'm on six different medications. A miracle from God would cure me. With a few people, maybe a few people watching, maybe in the front of a congregation. And then, I would notice a true a bona fide transformation in the way I, I would be able to walk straight and enjoy walking like I once did many decades ago. I would be able to sleep without without the transit on. I expect stuff like that. I expect more than shut up, blah, blah, blah. if somebody spoke in tongues, I'd expect it to be a real language that what he said could be verified in another in another language. And shut up, blah, 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 blah. you know, the flesh loved to be religious. Religion is like, you know, shouting and screaming and incense. That's not spiritual, that's carnal. That's full of demons. That's not of God, people. And at the risk of blaspheming the Holy Spirit, that is of the devil. If you speak in tongues, if somebody's speaking, if, if it's truly from God, I demand to be an interpreter. 
not a man, it ought to be able to be verified. So that's what I got to say about this.